Hello and welcome to this Simulator Spotlight presentation. My name is Jason Tranter and in this presentation I'll show you a simple simulator called iTeach ISO RMS. Strange name but let's have a look at it. In this simulator I can look at the vibration from an, a variety of machines and what I can do is turn on and off different filters. Now the reason for this simulator is because if you are to use RMS levels as a value to trend and those levels comply with the 10816 standard in veloc units of velocity or displacement. The standard says that you must only use vibration up to 1000 Hz. So if you buy a meter that can do this sort of thing then it's automatically going to chop off the vibration above 1000 Hz. So let's have a look at that. If uh, we, I'll just switch this to ammonia compressor. And let's have a listen to this ammonia compressor. It's a good example to use. Now, down here, it's just a simple sort of a spectrum display. Uh, this is the higher and higher frequencies, up to about 4,000 hertz, and the amplitude is the amplitude at each of those frequencies. It kind of looks like something you might see on a stereo system or something like that, just you know, a simple sort of uh, way to describe this type of vibration. But what I'm going to do, and I'll try not to talk over the top of the sound because it's a bit hard, what I'm going to do is first you'll hear the vibration, then when I click on ISO, what we'll be hearing is the first 1000 hertz of vibration. Every, all the vibration above 1000 hertz will be chopped out and you will hear the difference in the vibration. Um, so let's, let's do that. So that's all the vibration. And that is 1000 hertz. This, this represents 1000 hertz up to this point here. So all of that noisy vibration up here this part, this is the vibration, Let's turn that off, that last part of vibration you heard is the vibration that is being rejected by an overall level meter. So you can see that potentially you can be missing uh, some part of the vibration. Now if we listen to this machine, and this is all the vibration from this machine, That nasty sound you heard is the bearing waving its arm saying, I got a problem. I've probably got lubrication problems. I've, I, I need help. What, let's listen when I turn on the ISO filter again. When I switch it, we'll only be hearing the first 1000 hertz of the vibration. That's all the vibration. That little whisper you hear is the vibration under 1000 hertz. So if you were trending this machine, taking readings and trending, this bearing could be in all kinds of problems and you would never know. That's why you need to use other forms of vibration analysis. Let's turn that off. You need to use other forms of vibration analysis, other, other tools that, does, uh, that do focus on this higher frequency vibration. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that presentation of I Teach ISO RMS. I hope you learned something as well. Thanks very much for viewing this presentation.